Mushy Mushy Peeps, it's Chris Felina, and welcome back. Wait, you want me to redo that intro, don't you? Okay, let me restart. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Eh? All right, today, guys, is my annual shoe collection video. I've been doing this every Vlogmas, and I show you guys my updated sneaker collection. Now, I wouldn't say this is the rarest of them all, but this one is definitely, like, I think pretty fire. I, a lot of these... I did purchase myself. Some of them are gifts. Some of them are just promotional products. And this video is not sponsored, by the way, but they're just shoes that I was given and shoes that I copped. I'll let you know which is which. And yeah, let's just get into the video. Let's start off down here. So before I get into this, guys, now this first shoe, it's not hard to cop. I don't think any of this collection isn't really rare or anything, but this first shoe is pretty cool to me because it's Damian Lillard's shoes are pretty dope. And this one is the Marvel collection. So this is the Black Panther it has like Wakanda on it, which is pretty cool. Black Panther symbol here. And just the colorway. I mean, these shoes I wore once in a video and I don't know, they're pretty big. Like they run big. I would probably just feel comfortable like double sock in this kind of shoe. It's pretty bulky. I don't really like bulky shoes when I hoop. So, and this isn't something you just rock to wear. So, but it's cool. I thought I like the like collector's edition esque of it. Uh, this is some T Max. This is a T Max one, I believe. I don't know. But the bottoms is super cool. Like, this is dope. It's an icy bottom. Haven't worn these yet. It's got some camo here too. And like, the only reason why I cop these is because growing up as a kid, I couldn't afford these and I really really wanted them so as soon as I saw that they restocked them and it was a Marvel collector's edition I was like I'm just gonna cop I don't think I'll ever wear these these honestly they they're kind of trash I mean when it comes to looks but I love T-Mac as a player that was my favorite player growing up and I really wanted his shoes I think I honestly don't remember his shoes being like this bulky spaceship looking you know but hey T-Mac's a goat and for that reason these shoes are goaded so moving on now as I'm getting older, I start to get into like designer, more expensive things, more expensive threads. And fortunately, I can afford it too. So I'm moving on up. I cop some Louis Vuitton high tops. Don't ask me for these specific names of these sneakers. This is nothing like too crazy. I mean, these are pretty rare. I would have to say these are pretty rare, like designer clothes, designer shoes, especially in my size are very hard to come by. So when I saw that these were available, like I thought it was an instant cop, you know, it's a pretty subtle Louis V flex. You know, if you're out and about, you probably won't really notice, but dude, I like it. And this is very high quality shoe right here. I wear these pretty frequently now. It's one of my favorite shoes. They're pretty thin. That's the only thing that I don't like, but that's, that's how designer tie tops are usually. These right here, I forget the name. These are some Converse. To be honest, I didn't really cop them for the name. Oh, here it is, Carme de Garçon. Yeah, but they're chucks. I used to own a pair of chucks, just high top black chucks. And then I saw these and I was like, yo, these are kind of cool. They got some hearts going on. And then I copped a shirt to match like, this is, this is just a nice looking shoe, honestly. Like, I, I don't have anything like it. And I can see myself rocking these, you know, going out and about and, you know, just to mess around with. Now these. So right here are the LeBron 17s. Bro, I, I honestly don't think anybody but the people that Nike sent these to got these shoes, I want to say. Maybe you can buy it in stores, but I, I don't really see these, like this specific colorway. I think this is just the first of its model. These probably are available. I'm tweaking, but Nike sent me these along with some other creators. And it was pretty cool just to have like the same box that LeBron got when he first got his year 17 shoes. I got that exact box. It was only sent out to a very few amount of people. And I happened to be one of them. I think Cash was too, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, they got a tag, remove before launch. I ain't launching in these because I don't hoop with LeBron. So LeBron's just, you see his stature, you see my stature, just it doesn't look good. So yeah. All right, moving on to my Jordan 1s. All right, now you guys know I love Jordan 1s. This right here is a pretty basic. These are the Spider-Man Spider-Verse ones that came out this past year. Paint's already kind of rubbing off. I wear these a lot, actually, and they're not bad shape for as much as I did wear them. Like, if I don't feel like wearing my off-white ones, I'll wear these. I just love this colorway. Um, red and black 
is like my favorite colors to wear. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I really like these shoes and yeah, Kenny actually hooked me up to get these. I don't know if they're so rare now, but at the time. Moving on to the top threes. My beautiful lady actually got these for me as a gift. Yeah. Yeah, you got these top threes for me because it was our three year anniversary. So that's a top three move right there. All right, LA to Chicago. I got these right when they came out and I really want to turn them into Chicago's. I'm not sure how if I just have to wear the crap out of them or I need to do some technique to turn them into Chicago's. I, I need to look it up. I haven't taken the time to do it, but these are pretty fresh. I really like these too. I don't ever wear purple. I don't ever wear yellow, so it's like really weird. And these are just what I would wear to just be like, ah, whatever, I just need some shoes. But once they're Chicago's, then I'll start putting fits together with them and stuff. Those are fire. Brings me to my beat up. <laughs> my Travis Scott Air Jordan ones. I don't know why I said it like that, but I like the red laces with these shoes and the pink ones. I don't really have too much to say about this shoe other than it's one of my favorites. As you can tell how beat they are, I wear them pretty frequently. The thing with me guys, I know you guys are probably like cringing at the fact that I just wear them like I do and they're really expensive, you know, top tier shoes. Like, look, if I buy them, I'm gonna wear them. That's what I wanna do. If I don't, I don't know why I'm buying them. That's just the type of sneaker person that I am. And I always will be. Maybe I should take a little better care of them, but hey, if you got it, you got it. You know what I'm saying? Moving on to the De'Aaron Fox shoes. I, I just had to cop. I just feel like this is a pretty cool, unique, exclusive sneaker. Nike exclusive, obviously, but yeah, I just feel like, you know, one day these shoes are gonna be like retro. I don't know, like it's De'Aaron Fox. He's dope and these shoes are dope. So I copped. I wasn't even given them, I copped them. And I think they're, I think they're dope. All right, so these shoes right here are some foam posits. I think these are Jason Kidd's shoes. Someone told me that, I don't know. Nike gave me these when I was out in China with Cash and Jesse. I actually put these on. I wore them in Zach's video and they're actually very comfy. I, I gotta say, they're not the most pleasing shoes to look at. I mean, they are like pleasing as in like color. You see how muddy these are? They're cool. They're cool. It's just like, it doesn't match my drip. It doesn't match my drip. I'm sorry. These are just not it, but like I said, they actually are pretty comfy and maybe I'll hoop in these again. I don't know. I thought foam posits were the most uncomfortable shoes ever, but these are a little different. They're pretty cool. Right here, you guys saw the video. I just recently promoted these. Given my honest take, like, you know what I'm saying? I think these are fire. These are the best shoes Curry's have ever dropped. And that's not even my sponsored self talking like this. That's legit. I mean, these are sick. Colorway, love it. It's loud. You know, it's a little sour and it's got some sweetness over here. I'm not gonna, you guys have seen these, but these are rare in a sense too. Like not very many people have these unless you copped with my link. <laughs> but like, this isn't sponsored by the way. The other video was though. After wearing them, they're not like A plus comfortable, but they're lit. I will say that they are fire. And I saw Luca wearing these one game. So that's cool. Moving on to uh, my China shoes. I had these China 12s. These are cool. I always, 12s are like my top three favorite retro Jordans. I want to say definitely my top three. I think my top obviously is retro one. Then my second's probably the 11s. And these are actually, these might be my second and the 11s third. Yeah, because that doesn't really make sense. I have like two pairs of 11s or maybe three and I got damn near every pair. Going on to my Nike shoes. Majority of these were Nike. The Giannis's. So these Giannis shoes were given to me by Nike. I don't know if you guys remember when Giannis taught Cash and Jesse how to Euro step and he called me out to 1v1. No, I called him out to 1v1 and he just accepted it and then I like, kind of pussied out, but yeah, we're not gonna talk about that. And then I copped these at the Nike employee store. Shout out to my girl. We went to Portland and I copped these. Like, I haven't seen these in store. They probably were in stores. They're probably still in stores, shitting on 
shitting, sitting on the shelf. But I think these are really cool. Giannis has a good first signature shoe, I think. And like, this is a cool colorway and I'm definitely gonna wear these in a future video. You know, I'm trying to like mix up my shoes every, you know, couple videos. I always try to wear something new unless I'm just like, my body's not really feeling good, so I need a shoe that's comfortable so I don't hurt myself. I think about that, believe it or not. It's just the life of injury prone, man. All right, moving on to my Kobe's. You guys may have seen these in a past video that doesn't live on my channel, or maybe it does. These Kobe's right here, I copped. I think these are the Barcelona 8s. They don't have the Barcelona tag on them. I did buy these use just because I thought these this was like a cool colorway. I haven't worn these yet. And then I made some two hype custom ID Kobe ADs. It says two and then hype back here. And then my other shoe, it's in my closet, but you guys catch the drift. That one says KL for Christopher London. And if I put the shoes together, it says like 2K. Yeah, and then on the bottom it has 93 birth year. It's a pretty cool shoe. I just wear those casually to hoop in. And then I got my Kobe 7s. This is the Barcelona that Jesser gifted me for my birthday. You guys seen these. And then the what the Kobe's. You, I know you've seen these. I know you've seen these. Why am I showing you repeatables? I don't know. I just love these Kobe's. They're so sick. They got the, I think these are all-star MVPs. I don't know. It says LDN. Got some star detailing. I mean, this shoe is just dope. I will say, I hate that Kobe 7s hate my feet. They just aren't comfortable, but by God, they look amazing. They look good on me too. I really, I will say these shoes look good on me. Here's another Barcelona version. Got them both. I don't know if I have them all just yet. I may be close. I may be close. And then just to end the video off, gonna show you guys my Kyrie's. Got the Kyrie 6s in a video that you guys saw and you enjoyed. These are the new sixes. I want a different colorway. I think like these are just so dope. I can only imagine if I had one that wasn't like just all black. You know what I'm saying? I think like this, like Kyrie, he has the best shoes, bro. I mean, look at these. Like he's got the best shoes in the league right now. It's not even close. You see the Patricks, you see the SpongeBob's. My girl just got me these. Bro, the pineapple. Like, I don't know if y'all peep the detailing of this collab. Like, it's insane. I mean, the Squidward, like, the Claire, they got a clarinet, bro. Bro, I'm not even trying to sell these right now. And I'm like, I wanna buy another pair with these twos. These are the one of the most comfortable basketball shoes, no cap. Actually, I'm a, that's cap. I'm gonna take that back. There was a part like right here on my foot that's like poking, it's like stabbing my feet. And I got thin feet. So if the, if the shoe's tight, it's too tight, okay? Um, Kyrie seems to like that. He has that in the sixes too. But these Mr. Krabs ones, like it says secret formula on the tongue. Like you guys see the detailing of just all around. Like it's just all around beautiful. This one has Nickelodeon on it. I got a fluffy tongue, bro. Pause, but like, this is just beautiful. Like these shoes are beautiful. And yeah, man, I have the entire SpongeBob Kyrie collection. And if you guys want to add to your collection, you should definitely sign up and enter into our two hype giveaway because we're giving away 10 pairs of these. Your choice if you're a chosen winner. And all you gotta do is click that link at the top of the description. That's all I'm gonna really push today. I hope you guys are enjoying Christmas. That is my 2019 updated shoe collection. You guys can go watch the other shoe collection videos to see my entire collection. And you know, what? Oh, oh, these, oh, these, these right here. Oh uh, yeah, these are just LVs, you know what I'm saying? LVs, uh, nothing crazy. Yeah. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give this a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Join the crew. You already know what it do. Let me know what your favorite two shoes out of my updated collection. Just comment down below. I'm curious what you guys thought was like my best shoe or like your favorite, maybe not the hottest shoe, but like that's just your favorite go-to shoot as well. So yeah, man, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.